Now that you know the general basics to an if loop or an if statement, we're going to go ahead and use them within a message box. Let's go ahead and add a button, and that's going to give us access to our first message box. Go ahead and assign it to button one underscore click. So this is going to ask a series of questions to a user. Let's set up our message box. So message box is going to be, do you like Maymap? So that's going to be the question posed. Do you like Maymap.com? The buttons, they're going to have an option. Yes, no, or they can cancel out. So yes, no, cancel. If you're on a Windows, this would be a good time to also add the icon VB question, which you would add with an addition sign there. The title of this box will be Opinion. When we click the button now, we get a message box that opens up. The title is Opinion. It says, do you like Maymap.com? No matter what button we click, it's just going to exit out of that. We want it to go to a series of other message boxes. So we're going to have to define a result. So whatever they click, yes, no, or cancel, is going to be a result. So result equals, and then you will close the message box in parentheses. So message box, open parentheses, which you want the content of your message box to contain, and then close the parentheses. So we're saying the result is equal to the response of the message box. However, we need to define result as a variable. So dim result, that's our variable name, and there's a data type called BB message box result. So now when it asks you, do you like maymap.com, whether you click yes, no, or cancel, it's storing that result. So if the result is equal to, we want to say VB yes. So if they click yes, then let's have another message box. Message box, and this one will just be a prompt. Glad to hear it. Now, I do not need to close this if statement with an end if because the if is all on one line. If I said then and put the result underneath or the statement not within the same line, then I would have to put an end if. So I will go ahead and do that now because I know later on I'm going to be putting in else ifs. Clicking the button now, It asks, do you like Maymap.com? If I click yes, another message box pops up and says, glad to hear it. If I click no or cancel, it would just exit the message box. So I want an else if statement saying that if the person clicked no, so if the result is a no, then I'm going to have another message box pop up and this next message box is going to say you answered wrong try again and then let's give it the options VB yes or no so now there's a new message box that say you answered wrong try again and gives you the option of yes or no what we need to do is set that equal to another result. So we'll name this result2. So up in our top, we have to define result2. So go ahead and type that in, and that is also another VB message box result. So within this else if, we're going to need to write another if statement. So if result2 
is equal to yes. Then what I want to do is just display a simple message box, not to get too complicated in the tutorials, and say, we thought so. Else, if they click no, we just wanted to exit out. So we don't need to add an else statement onto this because there's only one other option and it will just exit out for us. So we need to end this if statement because it is inside of another if statement. So once we close this one, then the only other option for their original message box was cancel. And cancel is the else that we did not include in the first if statement, which just also exits out or just discontinues the loop. Now when we run this, it's going to say, do you like maymap.com? Clicking yes, glad to hear it. Do you like maymap.com? Clicking no, it's going to say, you answered wrong, try again. If you say yes, we thought so. If you said try again, no, it just exits out. And then if you click cancel in the beginning, it just exits out of the message box. So you do not even go into the second message box. This is another example of an application with if statements, except this time we included an if statement within another if statement.